Okay, so we're going to be talking to you in a bit, but first, the fallout over Meghan and Harry's explosive interview with Oprah continues. Meghan might have cost Piers Morgan his job after he stormed off the set of Good Morning Britain yesterday. As we reported, Piers quit the show after he left the set. But now we're learning that Meghan personally filed a complaint about Piers to the network, quote, out of concern for others dealing with their own mental health. Piers defended himself tweeting on Monday, I said I didn't believe Meghan Markle. I've had time to reflect on this opinion, and I still don't. If you did, okay. Freedom of speech is a hill I'm happy to die on. I'm off to spend more time with my opinions. So several stars are defending him and his right to voice his opinions, including Sharon Osbourne, who tweeted, quote, Piers, I am with you. I stand by you. People forget that you're paid for your opinion and that you're just speaking your truth. Others included CNN's Jack Tapper and Megyn Kelly, who are also defending Piers. So to help put this all into perspective, we've got our very own royal expert, Stephanie Jones here. So Steph, hey girl, what hey. is your take on all of this, especially when it comes to free speech, opinions, Piers Morgan quitting. Okay, we've got a lot to unravel here. First of all, we'll talk about free speech. So we don't have the First Amendment in the UK. That doesn't mean that you can't give your own opinion, nor does it mean that Piers shouldn't give his. I think this is a matter of respect, empathy, and just pure common sense. He doesn't have to agree with her. He doesn't also have to believe her, but I think there's a certain amount of decorum that was lacking in this situation. And to be honest, he was downright rude. In regards to him quitting, I think he did it to himself. He got a tiny dose for 24 hours of his own medicine. He was shaming Meghan for leaving a toxic environment that she felt she could no longer be a part of, saying that he didn't believe it and she was pathetic. However, when he was called out for things that happened to him, he was very quick to get up and leave within seconds, wasn't he? So it's pot calling the kettle black, in my opinion. In, do you guys agree with Stephanie? Jeff, do you agree with Stephanie? Yeah, in, in, a, in a, yes, in this sense, I absolutely do. But I want to take it kind of out of context a little bit because what he said, I, I disagree with completely. I'm all for mental health and mental awareness and suicide. I, I've talked about that a lot on this show. But I'm not... I'm with Piers in the sense that he could say whatever he wants, right? He went about it the absolute wrong way. I don't like how we take sides or this side stuck up for him or this side stuck up for him. We're too into sides in this country. We need someone to sit down with Piers. He shouldn't have walked off, first of all. I agree with that, Steph. And he should have sat down and been like, I didn't mean to attack her mental health. What I'm trying to say is I don't agree with what she did to the royal family and have a conversation about it and move on from there. What he did and then walked off and then didn't defend himself when he kind of invented that brand, so to speak, uh, it is baffling well, to me. Well, I don't know if he invented it, but he has certainly benefited from yes. it. Yes. And I do yes. want to um, just keep this in mind, not to conflate um, these issues, because what we're talking about are two very different things. Meghan Markle was silenced. We all understand that based on the interview and her account of what happened to her. Pierce Morgan was not silenced, and he canceled himself, to be quite honest, because at the end of the day, what was given to him that wasn't given to Megan was options. He was told by his network that he could either apologize or not, and there would be consequences for that apo or not apologizing. He chose to go with his ego and not apologize. That's more than what Megan was given. She was not given options. So when we're talking about freedom of speech, yes, Yes, of course, everybody say what you want, but be prepared to deal with said consequences. Amen. And when you have someone who decides to walk away as opposed to dealing with said consequences, then it tells us about the moral fabric of his character. A man who was ghosted by a woman who never uttered his name, only stood up to defend other people who might have other people around them who are saying things about people with mental health and whether or not they should be coming forward. And as a result, they are not going to confide in you when they need to. And that's the problem that we're talking about right now. And I think by conflating the two is a disservice to everyone. Amen, Erica. Good riddance. You just gave me chills. And, Thank you for that. I feel like you just spoke for every single viewer that is watching right now that deals with mental health issues. Amen. Thank you for that. So Hold Steph on, Al's trying to chime in and he's not even oh, on camera. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Albert. I'm, Wait, I'm Al, I fully forgot you were there. <laughs> I did too. I was just watching the show. I know, yeah, that was funny. I felt like...
Ashley was in the room. I was like, shh. And I was like, wait, that's Al. I have to, <laughs> Al, I have to be honest with you. I, my hearing, I'll just be really 100. We always pull the curtain back on this show. I do not even hear you. So maybe, Jeff, you can tell me I will, when I Al's will. trying to chime in. My buddy. I was just I was trying okay. to get my buddy in there. All right. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can, Al. Well, some of us. <laughs> okay, I, I'll just say this really quickly. We're talking about sides. We're talking about what side are you on, Piers or Megan? But one person that we never talk about, one entity we never talk about, is a company's right to decide. They have a right to decide who is on their airways and what they are saying. If DBL had a host, an imaginary host named Mike, and he was saying that COVID, in his opinion, COVID is a fraud, or in his opinion, the COVID vaccine is, is a government work, or something like that, Tegna, our parent company, has a right to take them off of, it, the, off of the airwaves, off of their airwaves where they sell advertisements. So why are we never talking about the network's choice? That was a, that's a great point. I actually can hear you now because we're playing your voice up loud and proud in the studio. And I think I God. totally agree with you. <laughs>